Hey, you dawn back again. Okay, well, I went and uh, I'm on my mic now, it should sound better. I went to uh, plug in my USB cable and uh, it, it turned off the recording and then brought up the menu that says, you know, do you want to transfer data or send the video to the computer? And uh, my computer is not booted up, it's hung right there. So I have. Well, I have another one I can do it with, but <coughs> anyway, uh, uh, I just got got done with breakfast, and, and I don't feel like messing with everything. Getting a, uh, you know, live. He's setting up OBS Studio and getting it going and everything. That's the only way I could use the camera into into the computer. I mean, so uh, or the way I do it, I'd say. So. Uh, I'll just kind of go over this again because I don't know what that fir I, first video uh, turned out like. I uh, you have to plug it in the computer to see it, and uh, there's you can do it on the camera, but I for the life of me can't remember how to get it get in there. All it does is every time I if you don't press the right buttons, it'll lock, with the remote it'll lock it up. And, uh, so uh, I used to remember how to do it, but I don't now. <clears throat> So I'm just going to kind of start over. This is for the, uh, the HP DL 380G7, my server that I use is my main computer running Fedora 32 Linux. Um, I I, it's probably too blurry to read, so I'll read off the stuff that matters. So the top part, you know, it's just saying that I love's connected and it's an IP address, and well, not the very top, but. Uh, Broadcom Extreme 2 Ethernet Boot Agent, that's the top of it, which I'm, you know, not using. Press Control S to enter configuration menu, okay. Uh, the ILO and then slot OHP Smart Array P14i controller, 1024 megabyte, V3.52, three logical drives. Okay, now that's how I had it set up. No, it still says that. Okay, so I have... It, there's eight drives in this machine, uh, 146 gigabyte each. Uh, that's how it came, you know, when I bought it <coughs> used, but that's, that's how it came. So um, I've got a uh, drive array of six drives, and that's my operating system, and, and you know, that's basically my operating system. And then I had two other drives that I didn't want to put in there because I wanted, I wanted to put bigger drives in those slots, but, you know, I, if, and I wanted to have a drive, and also I wanted to have two drives for backup in case one went bad, which is what has happened. Uh, so one of them, uh, it was actually drive, uh, it was drive two in slot two on the machine that went bad. And so the other two, six, uh, seven and eight, they're good, but I had them formatted uh, uh, as two, you know, two more uh, logical drives. So, uh, um, <clears throat> so. You know, the first drive, uh, logical drive is uh, all six hard drives, and then there's seven and eight. And then, uh, so then the rest of the error says 1797 uh, slot O drive array, array accelerator, data backup previously failed. Array accelerator is disabled. So that's been that way for a while, and I figured it might be a bad battery in the for the RAID controller. It has a gigabyte, 1024 megabyte of, you know, constant backup so if the power goes out or anything uh, you know you won't lose data um, it can you know <coughs> and it does happen that nowadays <coughs> it happened just a week or so ago again like most of that was just a quick quick um, just like in the millisecond range of uh, uh, you know power just bl glitching blinking you know and uh, the rest of the, you know, the server went down and maybe a couple other things and then most of all the other things now didn't even turn off, you know. Um, and so, um, anyway, I thought maybe the battery was bad is what I thought. But then when the drive, then when I had a drive failure a week or two ago, uh, I took that drive, it was failed, drive two in slot two failed, I took it out and put it in bay eight so that I could, uh, Slot eight, they call it bay. Uh, 
so that I could try to work on it and see if it really was uh, dead. And it showed up bad in everything I used. To. And then I thought of a couple other things I could try. Uh, booting it to Party Magic Rescue System. It has a couple of tools on there. But one thing I'd just like to see, like how many bad sectors it has and stuff like that. So I just left it in there because the server just turns it off. It throws the error. Usually it throws this error and then after, you know, 10 or 20 seconds, it goes ahead and boots. But for some reason it stopped. Maybe it's getting tired of that babe staying in there. <laughs> Maybe it numbers out. Maybe, you know, uh, it gives you so many t uh, boots to... Uh, they replace it and then and then if it, you haven't done it by then they want to make sure you know the design would be to make sure you get the uh, uh, get your attention so that you'll do something about it so uh that would make sense really uh, so 1784 slot o drive array uh, logical drive failure the following disk drives are failed and should be replaced port 2i box one bay eight so I've only got one box, I'm sure. Uh, bay eight, that's where I put it. Uh, port two I, I don't, I never have even seen anything about what the ports, you know. Sure, it's probably the manual, in the service manual. I, I do have it, but I haven't seen that. So it's kind of interesting that port two I is all the way at bay eight, you know. Uh, maybe because, well, I don't know. The two is what kind of makes me wonder. Uh, it may be because the, uh, the actual hardware is split up, say, in two ports, you know, two uh, physical connectors uh, back in the back plane. But, and then the uh, cables that come around from the back plane to the motherboard, uh, there may be, there, there, I, I just remembered I've seen uh, Morton explain that on the, Morton's My Playhouse channel, uh, explain that. Uh, on uh, some of the servers, he usually goes over that stuff on any most servers that he just goes, you know, show show and tell about, you know. And uh, so yeah, I would bet that's what it is. I have mine open lots of times, but it's been probably a year now. Uh, and, and I got my I have a playlist of all my videos on it. Uh, if you want to see more about this HP EL380 G7, I, hard to remember stuff right now. I'm half, still not awake yet. So anyway. Yeah, so your options, and I'm, I think I'll go ahead and try that, although it may be, let's see, if, no, I don't think it's going to work, looks like my keyboard, when this happens, usually my keyboard is not being recognized, and so you can't do this anyway, but F1, key to continue, F9 to, for the ROM based setup utility, F10 for the system maintenance menu, F11 key for default boot override options, and uh, F12 key for network boot. So the only, you know, I would, I might want to go into ROM based setup utility and look around in there, or I might want to, uh, I was just going to go pull the drive out and I'm, that's why I was turning the camera on and getting ready to do that. No, but the battery has been sitting there not plugged into the USB for long enough for the battery was almost down. And so I went ahead and switched to the, I got two batteries. I switched to the other battery for the camera. Uh, and the F10 key for system maintenance menu. I don't remember what's in there. Let's see if uh, <clears throat> if uh, if the keyboard's going to uh, do anything. I don't think it will. Okay, we'll do F9 for the wrong base setup utility. But the mouse, see my uh, mouse is a, it's got a red light on it. So when it's active, it's lit up. And it's not active, so what happened? It's something wonky with. I've got this keyboard is an HP keyboard that I've had since about early 2000s. I love the keyboard. Um, actually, I had two of them. This is my second one of them, and uh, I wore the I wore one or two of the keys out on the other one, and uh, they quit working good. And uh, after about 10 or so years or more. So I have a, uh, so it is actually so old that it's USB 1. It has two USB ports on it. So it's considered a, a uh, USB hub as well as a keyboard. So then it plugs into my KVM switch, which is also considered a USB hub by the, you know, when a computer sees it. It's got, uh, well, it's got four, five, I think six USBs on there. Four of them are for the each, uh, the KVM switch will switch between four different computers. And uh, uh, then the uh, 
the USB coming out of the KVM goes into a well it's a four port with two charging ports USB 3.0 hub that I bought recently and it works perfectly except for when something like this happens uh, something in there something happens I don't know it could be that it just happens anyway when this happens you know I, I did well I mean you expect it's the machine is expecting your keyboard to work so it must that's the only thing I can figure is uh, I've messed around with it quite a bit because it's happened several times and it didn't happen until I bought the hub so I would say that something goes down or you know quits talking to the right thing when uh, when you get to certain types of conditions you know with the uh, um, <clears throat> um, I can't think straight up. I saw a twisty that I hadn't twist that I had just taken off of something, and I grabbed it and started winding it up, and then I lost my train of thought. Okay, uh, so nothing's happened, and I waited plenty of time. And I have a wireless keyboard, but it's also plugged into the hub. Um, <clears throat> and I, I, I can turn it on and see, but I'm almost certain it won't work. I'll turn it on. And uh, what I have noticed is when it gets like this, the wireless keyboard will work usually if it's, but I don't think it will if it's plugged into the hub. So let's see, F9. Again. Nope. Okay, so. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, well, I'm going to turn it back off just to make sure. And, uh, you know, things don't get even worse when walked out. <laughs> so I'm going to, my cable from a mic. I normally use this lapel as a wireless mic, but I plug it into a phone and get in the, wi the sound over the Wi-Fi, but... I don't have the computer running, so uh, what I'm going to do is get the dongle out of this, uh, out of the, uh, out of the uh, 3.0 hub, tripping over stuff now. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go on around. I'm gonna pan on around and get to the uh, closet where the server is. I'll have to move this. Uh, yeah, I have it. I have it worked out where I can do it now. Okay, so uh, I don't know if I wanna. Move the tripod or take the camera off of the tripod. Let's open the door. I left the light on for you. Last time I was in there. Now the thing is, can't really see, whoop. Can't see the drive bay, that it, the, the whole server. Maybe if I, oh I see. I can't, uh, Got cables hung on the legs of the tripod. Yeah, so I was trying to, I was thinking I would avoid terrible video, but instead I made more terrible video. Okay. I can take the camera off of here. There we go. Oh. But the USB cable is tied to the tripod. Okay, so there's. Can just see that yellow light on on there, and I was going to take the drive out. I guess that's best thing to do. Uh, oh yeah, I was going to put that hub in there, that USB in there and see if it worked. Uh, well, the, uh, the the USBs are right below the big green light there next to the serial port, so I'm gonna put this back on here because I'm so shaky uh oh 
I accidentally mashed the button. I don't know if it did anything. Well, I can't get it back in there. Boy, this is not so easy to get in and out. The quick release on the tripod. There we go. I did do something. I turned it black and white. Or I turned on a... I think I accidentally turned on a nighttime vision. That's what I did. I'll, if I try to do it with the remote, I'm pretty sure I'll mess it up, so. Because, yeah, IR, that's probably what I had. Infrared mode. Yep, I guess that's infrared. I hadn't thought about that, really, lately. Yeah. It's pretty hard to get that in and out of the thing without... Yeah, I'm still recording without... Uh, Turning something off that you don't want off. So, yeah, before I do anything else, I want to see, from my own knowledge, if putting this, you know, USB... I may have already tried it. Before... I'm not sure. Okay, now. Put this thing. Where's the end of the... I can't... There's so much writing on this screen. I can't tell where I'm at or what I'm doing. I'm trying to find the edge of the... Yeah, that's evidently it. Yeah, There's something weird about it. it. It doesn't look... It looks like three times... Oh, okay. I just can't see. I got my magnifying glass. I wasn't even near there. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I have to use a magnifying glass to, to see. I didn't realize how bad I was seeing until I, until I did that. I got my magnifying glass to see this, the little screen on the camera. Okay. So, I actually had meant to turn that on first. I don't think it matters, but it could. Yeah, give it a minute to be on. And, uh, <clears throat> now let's try F F <coughs> 9 for ROM base, F10 for system maintenance. Yeah, I can't, I think the maintenance is like updating, uh, dry, uh, not drivers, uh, firmware and stuff. So, uh, F9. I better get my magnifying glass. My eyes are really blurry right now. More than usual. Yeah, it's, it's that doesn't work either. So it must, for some reason, when it gets into that kind of error state, it just quits talking to USB. The server, evidently, is what? It just quits talking to USB altogether. <coughs> I mean, sometimes it... Not take a little longer, but you know, I don't know. I, well, in, inside of Windows, it used to, I could have seen it take five minutes or more before to connect, you know, when it gets to get connected. But in Linux, it usually doesn't take, I have seen it take maybe up to a minute with my setup that I have here. Uh, but um, there's usually something not working right when that happens. So uh, usually just a reboot will fix it. But, uh, so I can't, can't do anything except for just go hard shut it down. And, uh, <clears throat> so I guess that's what I'll do. <clears throat> okay.
could go faster, but I don't like making myself dizzy when I watch my videos back. Okay, so my drives. It's in the, I think it's in the bay that you can't really see. So I'm shutting it, charge shutting it down now. So here's the drive, and uh, I guess I'll take it. I don't want to run it. I guess I can leave that light on until I come back. I don't want to run it with uh, let's see if I can get on my I don't know if my head will be what's really in the picture is the problem with trying that but I'm going to try that Might be better if I did it over there on the wood one. I'm almost certain it would be. Okay. Change of plans. There it is. Okay. Yeah, I'll do it over there on the wooden tray. Okay. So, uh, I guess I can just look now. Let's put it over here out of the way. Get my little screwdriver. So I think, yeah, I think this long one will do it just fine. I used, yep. I think it's the one I used last time when I did this. Yeah, it's magnetic, so it's good. I think I. Yeah, here we go. I got a nice little bottle labeled with some other screws and things. Some kind of plastic thing in there. I don't know. Rem don't remember what it is now. But anyway, there's a, I think there was a screw that I lost in the carpet when I was uh, getting it all set up. And I found it several months later. So I put me that in that little plastic thing. I don't remember now. I might have to pull it out. I'm really wondering what it is. Yeah, these are different. Of course, I've seen a lot in videos. Uh, so, the ones I've always seen, I'll show you the tray here. Uh-oh. Crap. My hand went wonky and I dropped everything. But I see the screw, luckily. I dropped the screw and that knocked the... Normally I instinctively try to catch things when they were falling, but everything just quit working. Okay, so... Uh, I need a... A needle nose to get that out I think would be the best way. Oh, that's uh, the button off of my, when I put my 8-gigabyte video card in there. That's the the button that released, it went on, you know, for releasing, uh, releasing those things that hold things. So, uh, that's what that is. Okay, so, uh. This is, see, they're just, there's no bottom in them, so they're just pretty, pretty flimsy. This one has plastic and metal, but they kind of come apart from each other. Oh, so does that one, but got to be careful with those things. So the drive, uh, it's the only thing I have that, that I can uh, hook up to this drive and read it, as far as I remember. Maybe I can. Uh, the thing about... Uh, I, I, I saw a lot of videos.